Home, the popular Brandywine Railroad model train display back this holiday season. And this year, the display is on view at the Brandywine Museum of Art. And it's celebrating, get this, 50 years. Paul Horner is the model train specialist joining us now this morning live from the museum. Good morning to you, Paul. Great to have you with us. And we see the train set behind you. 50 years. That is remarkable. Tell us why this is such a holiday tradition. You know, um, here at the Brandywine Museum, we've uh, since 1972 been celebrating trains here at the museum at the holiday time. And for a long time, Americans have connected trains and Christmas. Absolutely. And I think what's really cool about this is that there's such detail to the trains and the display. Tell people what they can expect to see if they come to see this in person. Well, if you come here, you're going to see at least nine or ten trains running at once, lots of Christmas lights, a lot of very happy children, <laughs> and a lot of very happy adults as well. And I know that among the details there, a Channel 3 van making it as part of the display, which is really neat. And of course, we appreciate here at CVS3. So you really try to incorporate uh, different features of uh, local communities as well. Well, you know, we've had people that have come for so many years that people that came here as children are bringing their children, and even now sometimes their grandchildren. So we know that since people come back every year, they want to see something new. So we're always trying to think, how can we add new things? And I knew you were around here, so I did see your news van down <laughs> at the local diner. Um, so yeah, we're always trying to add more scenes, spruce up our, um, our scenery. But we also like to keep the old favorites too, like our drive-in movie theater and our little amusement park. That is so cool. And that CBS van looks just like our live trucks. It's like a spit and image, a miniature version of it. All right, so you said nearly 2,000 feet of track, which is incredible. What does it take to set up this huge and impressive display every season? Tell us about that well, process. You know yeah, you know, some people when they come in here like, well, you just shut the doors, right, for the rest of the year. Like, no, 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 this is an art gallery. We are an art museum. Therefore, we need to have all the wall space we can get. So about two weeks before we open, we're given an empty gallery. We get the backdrop up. Then we bring in 29 sections, about 5 foot by 10 foot, bolt them all together. And it's a mad rush to get everything back on so we can open up on time, which we always have. Wow, I can only imagine the effort that goes into that. Uh, for people coming back this year, this is so special, not only for adults, but kids, people of all ages can really appreciate this. Yeah, and definitely is, people often ask, what's your favorite part of the layout? It's got to be the people, the guests that come in here and have told us that it's not really the holiday season until they come in and see the trains at Brandywine. And 50 years, Paul, such an incredible effort by you and the team there. Thank you for joining us this morning. Great to see you. And well, happy holidays. And, <laughs> and happy holidays to you and all aboard. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Thank you, Paul. Happy holidays. The Brandywine Railroad at the Brandywine Museum of Art is on view through January 8th, so plenty of opportunity to check it out. And the museum also has extended hours for the holiday, so you can go with your family and enjoy the display. Very neat there. Meanwhile,